So let me put on my... Hi, you're watching On the Town, and I'm your host, Tanya Cooper. Um, I'm glad to see you all. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us again this week. Uh, we have a very special guest. She has been uh, studying Raj Yoga for seven years. She has a spiritual practice, and she is a TV producer and the host for an award-winning TV show called Give and Take the, Va the Virtues of Life. Please welcome my guest, Miss Cicely G. Hi, how are you? Happy to be here. Happy to be here with you this evening. Thank you for, for joining us. Um, it's, it's been a, a long day, let's just say. How are you doing in all of this uh, uh, COVID experience and quarantine? Um, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm sticking with my, um, my practice of Raj Yoga meditation. I'm sticking with that. So that's keeping me um, balanced and aligned um, because I think you need something, uh, whether it be spiritual or religious or whatever it is that one feels that they need to connect mm -hmm. at any time, mm -hmm. it's important to have something um, because these are some times that we've never experienced before in this era, but um, it's things that have happened in the past, but um, we're here, so we have to deal with it in whichever way that we need to. Absolutely. And uh, so tell us about Raj Yoga, because that's something that I'm not um, that familiar with. Tell, okay. tell us about that because I'd love to know. Um, okay, so Brahma Kumari's World Spiritual University in India, mm -hmm. this is where it started. And so it's been uh, years now, I think 19, 1930s it started. And um, it was started, um, as I said, Brahma Kumari's World Spiritual University. Mm -hmm. And the founder, what he did is he put women in front to run the organization. Mm -hmm. So that's what's unique about it because most of these organizations have that male energy, but this is particularly the female energy. Okay. So Raj means king or royal, mm -hmm. and the true meaning of yoga means union. Okay. So it's just a royal union with source, with God. That's all it is. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. That's amazing. And so what um, what type of, um, do you get regular yogis or all types of yogis, the same practice in like downward dog, same poses and everything? No, no. no, like I was saying, yoga is not the physical, that's hatha yoga. So there's different yogas. Wow. So that's a physical hatha yoga, huh? but this is raj yoga. So it's yoga of the mind. Ah, that's what I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's, uh, and wouldn't that be, um, I don't know, wouldn't that, would there be a series of, like you take the mind first and then the body? Or it doesn't matter? Well, it starts with the mind because the mind is, well, it's not really so much the mind, it's the soul mm -hmm. that's in charge of all of those faculties. Right. So the soul has three faculties as mind, mm -hmm. intellect, and impressions. And so the soul is the one that controls the body. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So it starts with the mind. So we make sure our mind is at, uh, well, not so much the mind, the soul. So the soul controls the mind. Right. And so we make sure that the soul is at its peak through our Raj Yoga meditation, 4 a.m. meditation. Mm -hmm. Every day we have classes at six o'clock. They're, they're, you know, around that time. And um, we have meditation in the evening. Every third Sunday we have world uh, meditation hour. But now we've increased it since everything's going on right now. Right. And that's, that's what I wanted to have you here um, today to talk about. There's so much going on, um, you know, with the COVID and the uh, quarantine. And I know most people focus on, you know, they're upset and their anxiety and all that stuff. But right. I was like, you know, yoga is something um, and getting your mind right is very, that we're onto something. And I think that since this whole thing has happened, at first people were like, oh my God, this is, I got to stay home. I got to do this. Right. Um, this is like week four. Well, this is like week five for us, but like week four for most people. And I think they're actually getting comfortable and finding their true spiritual selves if there's such That's an thing. That's happening. That's you happening. Know? You yes. see that too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's happening yeah. very beautifully. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautifully. That's the word. Yes. Because yes. I, I, I went to a park yesterday and I observed um, some families and friends out and people that were out that lived together or whatever. And um, I thought it was beautiful. They, they were having real dialogue. I saw um, kids with their parents that were really dialoguing and mm -hmm. not screaming and over talking each other. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Exactly. Um, it's beautiful and, to see that. Yeah. It's really nice to see families together. They're cooking. Yes, they're cooking, exactly. Uh, they're having conversations. And so it's beautiful. So there is that aspect of it. Yes, yes we know the real, the, the real, the real things that we've seen, 
over the past few weeks, but we have to try and focus on what we see that's positive. Right. What are the good things that are happening? So I, I'm going to let you go on. <laughs> no, no, no. And that's what I want. That's why we wanted to have you today because we know that you're spiritual inclined, you're mentally inclined, and that's what you do is bring people together um, mm -hmm. and, and mentally and physically for themselves. And so um, I wanted to stay focused. On, I forgive that. <laughs> forgive that. That's that's okay. Uh, which everyone knows he's famous for saying a bark here or there. Um, but I wanted you to hone in on, on things and techniques that people can do to either spiritually find themselves or to be content with the peace and the silence that they have to sit in. Okay, so what I've been doing, I'll share about what I've been doing lately. Mm -hmm. I've been meeting people very organically on uh, social media okay. and they've been connecting with me and it's something I don't typically do. So we do, as I said, meditation mm -hmm. and some of it is guided commentaries. Oh. So maybe it's music, maybe it's just guided commentary with no music or just silence. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so what's been happening is people say, oh, I want you to do meditation. I want you to do meditation. And that's not something people ask me. So that's what I've been doing. A lot of meditation people. And I've connected with, because um, we, Brahm Kumaras World Spiritual University is all over the world. Mm -hmm. So I, there's a center, there's a main center here in Long Island, a Global, Global um, Harmony House. Mm -hmm. And then there's one in London, Global Corporation House. Mm -hmm. So I, whenever I travel, I go to those, uh, those centers or the, the, the headquarters. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's a center in London that I've been supporting them. And so every Thursday I do um, meditation, uh, a guided meditation commentary. As I said, it's not something I've done before but I've been doing them and they, people have been having wonderful experiences. And what's so beautiful, Tanya, is that they come every single day, seven days a week. Really? Yes. Well, that's amazing in itself. It's that's amazing. Good. You get new people come in, mm -hmm. but you've got your steadies that come. I tell you, they're committed. Seven mm -hmm. days a week they come in and they have different um, instructors that come in on each day mm -hmm. and different topics. But they are committed, they come in and they participate. It's the most beautiful thing that I've seen. And I'm seeing that different groups, I, I, um, I feel like I'm traveling, well, I am traveling, I'm going to Spain sometimes, mm -hmm. earlier I was in Vienna, mm -hmm. um, so all over. And people are just, they want something special. When they see that specialty in you, they sort of gravitate, they say, wow, we want to know more about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So that's what's happening. People were not really interested before, but now I'm seeing the interest, Tanya. They really like, we want to know more. Please give me meditation. I want to do some meditation. Show me how to do it and connect me. It's just beautiful. Yes, and, that, and that's the magic word that people want more. Uh, and that's what I'm seeing. Like people want to be enlightened. They want to know you know what maybe this is a time to work on myself and be a better person or be you know learn more right or, or this is the time that i'm really listening to my kids and my kids mm. are listening to us and i think it's beautiful i mean there's, a, there's a sad side of the live loss but this other side is that you know what i think um the universe um or as i would say god uh, has his way of waking us up you know he has his way of waking mm -hmm. us up yeah so yeah I don't, Just, you know, exactly I don't know, um, you know, how that translates for some people, but people who I know normally are never spiritual at all have become such because now they're like, hmm, something's going on here. And something's said, oh, going on, right. They, yeah, so they want something different. They want to see, because, and what I'm gra gravitating, people gravitating to me too, that people, it's like a, a, a commonality, right. like they're understanding, because I joined this deaf cafe in Mallorca, Spain. Oh. And um, what happens is that it was, it talks about that some of them are doulas, doulas, oh. right, so that you, oh. right, doulas and some, they're there to support with birth and also death. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's turned into this beautiful thing where everybody's understanding that each one, I know this might be hard for people to hear, but each one leaves at the time when they need to leave. Right. So yeah, that's right. they need to leave and they also come when they need to come so in that group they're all seeing that and they're really it's such a beautiful group it's gone beyond because i'm like death cafe why am i in this death cafe but it's translated into this beautiful union of souls who are understanding that life doesn't end when a soul has left mm -hmm. it doesn't end mm -hmm. so for me our practices um 
that uh, our understanding is that um, the soul never dies. It's eternal and immortal. Absolutely. So all these, all these people who have died, it's only just the body. Right. It is not the, 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 the soul. The soul goes on and continues and takes another birth. That's the truth and the fact of the matter, whether somebody wants to believe it or not. And it's not, it's not just faith. It's firm faith. I've had experience with it. So I've seen it. So I'm not just talking like, oh, they told me there's birth after death. No, but we've seen that throughout years. And we've seen these extraordinary young children that have all these great skills. And, yes. and it's like, where do they come from? They're two years old. They can play the piano. Where does that come from? Yes. Oh, well, also, when you mm -hmm. see them and they know you from, and you, you're like, I know you must have just came out of the past life. Oh, right? I tell you. You see like newborn babies or little babies, yes. right? You ever see that? And they're like, cool, cool. And all. you're like, and, and right. one, lady, one lady said to me, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were either my baby's mother in the last life or something. I said, <laughs> the baby just, I mean, a newborn baby looked up at me one, one eye. Right, and, and, yes. Ah, and lit yeah. up like, like I was the mother walking in the room and the mother was like, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I said, it's not weird. Um, I said, they just, babies just came out of the past life. Huh? Right. Sometimes they just back up. They're like, ooh, there's also that experience. And I've had people say, there's the other aspect of vibrations, like some people's pets, they say, my mom, my dog never does that. Yeah. Like they'll just come up to me and want to be near me. And they say, I've never seen, or, or a baby, they'll come to me, they say, my child never ever goes to anyone like that and they're coming to you like they've always known you exactly those experiences that i've had and i've seen those things mm -hmm. I, I i totally i get the past before I, when i was younger i was like i don't believe in past lives i was right. i was raised by a baptist minister um okay. but as i lived life i kept saying why is it i meet some people and i if you ever set ever meet somebody like just random i met a guy in paris well i originally met him at a club in new york city in the 80s and his brother owned one of the famous clubs and i met him in the night um i met him in the night and um and it was five minute meeting like hey this is so-and-so this is so-and-so this is so -and -so, like that in the night and i was a model then and he his brother on the club whatever and so i didn't know he was an artist so i went to paris fast forward i don't know if that was a couple of years later or whenever but I'm, I'm walking down um, by the CN and they do these art things where they do characters, pictures of you. So I'm letting the guy sketch me and I looked at his face close and I was like, I know you. And he's like, no problem, thanks to English, mademoiselle, no, 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 no speak English. I was like, mm -hmm. are you sure about that? He's like, yeah, I said, I know you. I said, look at me, I hold his face up. And I said, I know you, I met you in a club at night and your brother owned the club in New York City. He goes, how did you know my brother? I said, thought you didn't speak any English though. So. So, but, but, but I felt some kind of, um, like I knew him from some past That's life funny. and we talked and talked and talked until I finally got out that maybe it wasn't just the past life, maybe it was something else, maybe from the, from me actually meeting him, but something about his spirit. And I've met mm. many people who I, I know for a fact, there's somehow or another, we were connected somewhere down the line, somewhere centuries ago. I don't remember it. But right. I believe in past lives now, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, it's definitely there. And I've had those wonderful experiences just meeting people. And this person would say, oh, I like you. I said, I like you too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even when we met. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. It's, just, it's wonderful. And it gives you like, when my mother and father both left, you know, I just, um, I had this sense of um, peace. Mm -hmm. Because to me, I know they were not gone. They've just gone on to take different births somewhere else. Absolutely. Somewhere else there's a little boy or a little girl or vice versa, enjoying themselves with their new family. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So there's not that heaviness like, oh my goodness, of course I feel empathy for all these souls that are leaving. I understand the families that are left behind, some who understand about rebirth, some who don't, that is really hard but it's just it, these things are going to happen and so in the deaf cafe we was talking about how the soul has made that decision to leave at this time mm -hmm. or whatever time it is i mean some of them are, are sudden of course that wouldn't happen that way but it's based on like we were saying there's a beginning like okay i'm supposed to come in 1918 on such and such a day and i'm supposed to leave on december 26 on 1930 Mm. that's fixed and it can't be changed. No. And I absolutely agree with that because I, like sometimes like 
Yeah. When my brother died, that was a good, good example of if I really believe this or not. Because mm. that was like, I mean, we grew up in France together, together, so we were like Bobsy twins, basically. So that was devastating. But that was a real test. Because that's when you're someone that close, now you really got to say, well, he died. So now what makes him so special that he would live longer than Mary if it wasn't just his time? So I had mm. to convince myself. And I believe now that it was just his time. And I thought about it and said, you know what? He had good, for 41 years, packed in a lot of stuff for 41 years. So I'm so lucky and blessed oh, that man. I had him for 41 years because there guess what? Go. I got friends that lost their brothers at three years old, five years old. And, and yes. guess what? That still was their time, even though they were young. But here's how I look at it. Because I'm a fatalist now. So, I mean, technically, I still get a little paranoid about things, but okay, I, overall, I'm a fatalist. I believe if I had died in a car accident, I was supposed to die in a car accident. Why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I think everything happens for a reason. And that even if it's a two-year-old, um, when you look back on the lives that they touch or brought together in the moment of death, they made a, a click somehow. They clicked somebody together that wouldn't have been together had that not happened. You never know right. what but there's something going on. And I believe that. Mm, Absolutely. Yes. Do you think, um, well, well, as I say, uh, do you think that people should be focusing on getting it right in this life? Because if they don't, I think that the next life, they got to do it again. Uh, you're absolutely 100% correct. Absolutely. Yeah. So you have to live your best life, your good life. And so that's why I caution people because you, you would think that this situation would change people's attitude, mm -hmm. but some people are exactly the same. Yes, yes I never so I'm caution them. I'm cautioning them, said, so do not curse, do not blame, do not shame, no cursing, no blaming, no shaming anyone. Because believe you me, there is something that you will have to deal with at some point and we've seen that happen we've seen it's called karma karma just means action and it's not all oh, what goes around comes around no it's action so whatever action i perform mm -hmm. now yes. at this moment or any time in my life i have to face that yes and not in this birth i'll face it in another birth so that's why you think why am i going through so much why I, why is my life like this right. why am i so in the in the down you know, downwards uh, always in the downward uh, spiral why am i not in the upward spiral mm -hmm. well you might want to look deeper past than what's happened in this birth could be something that's happened in previous births yes i thought so, about that too is there a way to erase that. things that happened in the pre previous births you said way? it you said it tanya you said it already you wow. said that you have to just live your 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 best life Okay, so that's it. I figured, yeah. I wasn't sure because it, I, I'm guessing all my stuff, um, but it seemed like there's got to be a way to vindicate yourself at some point. If that's yeah. It. But, but what about, Absolutely. how about this? What about people that did really, really, really bad? Like, like I'm not, oh, no, like, I'm not going to discuss it. That's too deep. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I was like, because I, I, you know, I, I'm a stand-up comedian. That, but that's very, very deep. What happens to those that do something really, really bad is okay, very... Okay, because I, I won't go into it, but I'd like to tell you, <laughs> I'm a stand-up comedian. And so uh, I have a whole piece about if God is going to let Jeffrey Dahmer in heaven with me, then I'm going to go to hell. So that's all. But I'll, I'll, one day you'll hear that set. But that's, I'm like, wait a minute, what about? So we'll talk about that another time. But yes, um, we'll talk about that another time. Basically, yes, indeed. we can indeed. vindicate ourselves by li living can. our best life. Living our best life. So, it, and, and not to, um, okay, so if the governor says, mm -hmm. wear your mask, wear your mask. And I understand it's like, you know, the minute I leave my home, I put my mask on, but they were saying that you have to be mindful of some people are having adverse uh, 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 reactions to the mask. So if you know you're, there's no one in within six feet or further than that, so if somebody's down the road, um, say like uh, 12 feet or more, right. I don't have and to- you're, And mask. you're asthmatic. Right, so just, but have the mask, with you because you don't know anyone could just be around the corner in a second that happened to me yes you, know, you see and i said that i said um because i said i'm gonna i went out for a walk because uh, i don't go out very often because i listen to what people say i listen to what the governor says i read all the necessary literature and i follow what is the accordance and so i i said i'm gonna just take my mask and not put it on just unnecessarily if i'm not around anyone mm -hmm. 
and I took it off. And as soon as I saw someone get, I put my mask on. And exactly what I said, you never know who's around the corner. There were people just coming around the corner and they were still not close, but you don't know because Tanya, they, they're still trying to figure out the ins and outs of this virus. It's still not conclusive. Well, here's the thing about that. And this is where I get a little bit up. Some of my friends don't agree with me. But I believe, I believe that they made the virus. Uh, not they, like the local people. I understand. The higher ups. I believe somebody had their hand in making this uh, and, 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 and um, trying to get rid of certain people. But they didn't realize, like drugs, viruses don't discriminate. Uh, and so, I don't know. I can't prove this. Um, this is just my theory that it's backfiring on a lot of people and a lot of people who thought that, oh, well, this group will get it or that group will get it. Everybody's, everybody can get it. Mm-hmm. But right. the mask, mm-hmm. my problem with the mask is this. I wear them, and I, and I, but they do not, my friend's a virologist and will tell you, they will not stop you from getting, if someone walks past us right now that has the virus and spews oh, yeah, on that us, we, we right. are going mm-hmm. to get it if our immune system's down no matter yes. what. Yes. Okay. Yes. That mask, only helps you not touch your face so that you right. won't bring it right immediately to your nose, your ears, mm-hmm. your eyes. That's all it does. Unless you have the least N9, or whatever that's called, N95, whatever. N95, right. N95. That, that one, so allegedly, but that still doesn't help you if you don't have on glasses right. or... or right. I told someone that the other day. I said, wear glasses. Even when I got sight, I wear glasses because it's like, this has points of entry. Yes, well, that's also a- your skin is a point of entry. So it's, yeah. it's, it, unless you have like the ones you see like when they're heavy duty, the military wears when they're doing searing yeah. gas, you're uh, pretty much, it doesn't you, help you. That's yeah. why I'm that's not, <laughs> I, wear, I wear the mask because so that I won't touch my face. I don't wear the mask right. because I think it's going to stop me from getting this, whatever. If it's mm-hmm. for me to get, I'm going to get it anyway. Um, that's uh, what I, I said. That's my, my theory, Tanya, that if you're going to get it, you're going to get it. It doesn't matter. Just like everything, when you're supposed to leave, you're supposed to leave. When you're supposed to come into this world, supposed, it's the same thing. Yep. If same you're thing. going to get it, you're going to get it. But you should still take the necessary precautions. If Absolutely. they say, just do it, Tanya. That's my thing. And there, therein lies karma. So if they told me I should do it, and then I don't do it, and then I'm laying on the beach with 50 people, right, lying around, right. spreading and around, then, and then all of a sudden I get sick. But I was warned not to do that. So who do I have to blame for that? Yep, exactly. I mean, there's a couple of people that happened to that they ended up actually demising. Uh, right. Uh, one guy said that he didn't believe in it and he ended up dying from it. I was like, well, if you don't believe in something, at least try not to die from it. I mean, try not to die from it. And everybody has their opinion. Everybody has their truth. Everybody has their story. And so I just act intuitively, Tanya, and my intuition has been at the highest since all this has happened. It's been very strong. Mm-hmm. So my intuition has been telling me each thing. Like six weeks ago, I said such and such. Mm-hmm. And they're just there now. And I'm like, but I said that about six weeks ago. Right, right. right. And, and so, so I'm always trying. And so I was talking to somebody early and, sh- and she said, I said, I'm visionary. I'm, I'm visual, mm-hmm. which has extended to me being a visionary. Right. So I see things right. and I see the signals and I pay attention and I watch things. And it's important to be always a step, one step ahead. Yes. So they say, oh, don't wash your groceries. Tanya, I'm washing my groceries. So I am now too. At first I didn't because I didn't know. But I started, I thought it was the door. Yeah. I've always been washing. I, it was because something just came to me like last year. I was in the store and I said, I was looking, I said, you know what? At night, you've got mice and all kinds of things running around in these stores. I mean, the reality of it, that's what happens. And I said, people have got sick from just things touching overnight. Or so I said, I'm going to start washing all my stuff. And I did that anyway. So you. now I've just it up a notch in regards to really sanitizing and cleaning my stuff um accurately more more cleaner yes and even like the washing people's of wash your hands it's like wash your hands yeah that was should have been a protocol anyway yeah no my kids were like my kids were like i'm well prepared for covid because you've been doing this for us forever i was right. like because i worked in daycare centers and i worked in schools so i knew that's right. where my, my kids never got sick because mm. I, I, I know how to keep a germ out the house. I know, you know, the basic oh, germs. Yes. But the ones that fly around, uh-uh. Nope. Clean right, off the right. Door handles, 
So this is not that surprising for me either. But right. um, what I wanted you to tell us about, um, I wanted you to tell us about regard for virtues, your business. Yeah. So regard for virtues is, um, I started the company last year and what I do is I work with individuals doing coaching. I do life coaching. Oh. And um, just on the, it was very organic. People said, oh, could you do spiritual coaching for me? I didn't advertise that. I didn't put it out there, but they asked me to do that. So that's what I've been doing. I do um, spiritual coaching, well, just coaching. And then if they ask me, then I will do that for them. And I do like, um, I was before the shutdown, I was working, not working, just doing workshops at Hudson River Community Education in Dobbs Ferry. And I was teaching a class called Understanding the Self. So it's a series of classes. Yes. And I work with uh, education, institution, mindful, mindfulness, parenting, um, workshops, uh, retreats, seminars. So I do quite a bit of, of things. So I just have to restructure now, now that there's that shutdown. I was already doing things online, but now I just have to look at the way that I market and how I put um, the business out there. Nice. Being mindful. Okay. How has COVID um, affected that for now? Well, I, I actively did not um, go looking for clients because I just wanted to people to breathe and see where they are because people have lost their jobs, their income, they've lost family members. So to be out there, like, I think it's a bit... Um, yeah, too sort much. Of, Thirsty. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So just watching, so I'm connecting with people all over the world and uh, we'd seen about how we can collaborate and do things. So um, people have been hunting me down. So um, I'm connecting with them and uh, we'll see how things go, Tanya. But I'm being very light about it. But um, it, it's, it's I, I offer meditation uh, complimentary. So I don't charge for that because it's a gift. I have a gift. So you don't charge gifts, right? <laughs> and there's of karma so i'm trying to keep good karma well so you can I, do like my friend does and she just takes donations it's up to you if you want to send the paypal donation or not. and that's the second time I, i've heard that i was speaking to someone in a group uh, a couple of days ago and the person she has an organization in india and she it's almost like she does that and she's just a a, a, a gratitude i can't remember what she called it and what she does with that money is that she buys things for non-profit organizations she serves her community with that money. So yeah, there's that kind of thing too, but there's that as well. Thank you, Tanya. I've also been looking at that. Yeah. But, um, just restructuring and, and looking at how I can serve souls. <laughs> yes. And when you do these workshops, are you, are you doing them through Zoom right now? Yes, I can I do them through Zoom. I'm really enjoying that because I feel like I'm traveling all the way. No, no, exactly. no exactly. suitcase, no having to worry about all right. the people and planes and all that stuff. I'm really enjoying it a lot. Well, I get it, because I, I used to teach for, micro, Microsoft had a uh, thing um, with, uh, what's the name of the place? Oh, I forgot the name of the place. Um, but we do teaching around the world. Um, on, we share our stories, and I was in foster care, so I share my story and my book and all that stuff. But we do it online through Microsoft. They had this thing, and so I would Zoom around the world, um, which was awesome. India, Africa. Yes, all that's Africa. great. Oh, I love it, love it. Amazing. Yes. I said, this, this uh, COVID thing might not be bad, because everybody has to do Zoom right now. Uh, yeah, and it's 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 something that I've always sort of been ahead of the curve in regards to doing this kinds of stuff. So I've always wanted to do more of this. So now I, I it's I'm in that place where I can do that, yeah. and so I'm I'm looking at this as a great opportunity for me. People I'm connecting with all over the world. In fact, mm -hmm. people have been asking me because the TV show is now on hold because studios closed. Yeah, because the studios yeah. radio show that's also um, shut down, but. Um, People have been asking me to do interviews. So I decided I will do something uh, starting this week. And I'm doing, it's called Global Co Global Conversations with Cicely G. Nice. So GC with Ooh. CG. Nice. That sounds fabulous. Global yeah. Conversations. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? It, the, what the, it sounds fabulous because there will be people from other parts of the world. Yes. That, and that's exactly what makes it really interesting. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like that a lot. A lot. Yeah, what just else, a um, conversation, Tanya. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, no, it's okay. I said, what else? Um, what else have you been doing um, to help out uh, the community or to keep your clients happy? Anything yeah. Else well, I've, I've just been as a. It's just supporting. Uh, just being an heir, an an heir, mm -hmm. and um, 
my friend recently, she's really been like family in London. Her father um, transitioned, but he'd been sick for a, a while. So he just succumbed to his illness. But what was really good was that um, he was in his house. So they didn't have to deal with um, him being in a the hospital. They couldn't go see him. Oh, right. That's right. 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 So it was a little, it was good. And they were all able to be there with him. But it took from, I think it was, he succumbed to about eight o'clock in the morning. They did not come and pick him up until 11 p.m. that night. What? Yeah. That's weird. Yes. Yeah, um, so, was, mm-hmm. it, was it COVID? Um, because the, the precautions that they have to take, because they got very, uh, some of, she was okay, because I've done a lot of talking to her, supporting her over the years, but like her family members were upset, saying, well, he didn't have it, he didn't, but they have to treat all the same. They do, so, not to get to, you have to treat it all the same. They have to protect themselves, the people that are coming to take these bodies. Yes, so that makes sense. You have to. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Wow. wow. So that's um. Sorry about her dad. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that, but in a way, she's blessed because most people are saying they have to do this, yeah. and they can't even say goodbye to them. Mm. That's hard. That's very hard. But um, what are some of the yeah, things they that they've been doing? Um, it, it, that if they have to deal with death right now, what are some of the things they can be doing, um, positively, aside well, from looking at it like, well, if you know, it was their time. Right. Well, Tony, what I think that they're doing is the funeral homes have got very creative and they're doing funerals on Zoom. Yes. And I've I gone to about two or three and they've been very, I, I wouldn't have been able to go if it wasn't for Zoom. So it was a really wonderful feeling being um, at, um, uh, uh, at the funeral, but not being there. It was right. just really, really, I just, and it was, it was beautiful, 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 just being and watching everything. So yes. That's mm-hmm. clever. That's clever. And I, I think a lot of places are coming up with different modalities that they thought they could never do. Right. Um, now, I, I mean, before this, they were doing like the candlelight ceremonies because my brother died. We were able to go online. You can leave a message and stuff. So they had that. Yes. But this is even, I think this is great. For people yes. that can't come now, maybe they say, hey, "Let's zoom the right. people." That's and, it, and I think they should continue it. Just yeah. zoom from all instead of be getting on planes and this and that and all but that. But they should also charge less money. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know they're still racking up, which is sad oh, because it's like, oh, 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 yeah, they're yeah. still charging. Everybody's still charging the same money, even though I mean, I got um, I got classes and stuff. You think they would cut the cost because you're doing Zoom? Nope. They didn't cost nothing, cut, cut nothing. And oh, some problems. people, right. Yeah. But most of them are working with you. Some of the companies, like some of the companies that I, I um, say like my car insurance, they're working with you, your auto insurance. Cause I said, I'm not driving now. I'm driving about right. 10 miles a month now. <laughs> I've, had, I've had the same, I had a full tank of gas. I now have a half a tank of gas from 30 days ago. Me too. Mine's longer than that. I think mine's about uh, mine's about six weeks, and I have a heart. March March sixteenth, uh, I think I filled my tank up. March thirteenth or something like that. My last day at work, I think I'm, I'm about that. Up. Yeah, yeah. So mine's been about six weeks, and um, so they're working with you. They're working with you in regards to the payments, and and so just call them up is what I suggest. Call them, and they'll work with you to see. Um, they've all been f- quite favorable in regards to how you're dealing with payments and stuff like that and, right. and tweaking it and changing it. Because as I said, she said, how, how many, I said, I'm driving about 10 miles a month now. Right. Exactly. So they changed my policy and bought my um, premium down. Good. Good. So Good. if you're having Good. struggles with your bills and things, just call the, people just want to know. So just call them and have a conversation with them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, I've been um, blessed too, but um, what are some, um, I'm trying to think, what are some, before we wrap it up, what are some of the other things um, that people can do to enjoy this time uh, and work on themselves? You just said it, mm-hmm. work on yourself mm. and enjoy your time being with your family. I, I, I just love watching on social media that families are cooking, as I said earlier, and just going for walks when they can and practicing social distancing. I saw my neighbors out earlier oh. and um, it was just nice seeing them and uh, the little girl was running across the grass and they were together and just, Whereas they were constantly working and not being able to spend any time with family. Absolutely, so, that's the thing. I, I saw an executive type dad with his mm-hmm. uh, little toddlers, and he had like three of them. I was like, whoa. Mm-hmm. 
And I, mm. I, I was laughing to myself because the mom, I can tell she was like, she didn't know what to do with herself because dad had all three, the baby, the two-year-old and four-year-old. He was like, all right, come on, we're gonna run. And they were like, all right, dad, huh? And they ran over the grass and they were doing silly things. And you could tell, but I could tell by his demeanor that nice. he was probably an executive that this has off right now. Uh, <laughs> and, he, and he actually, you could see in his face and his spirit and his, and his drive, that he was enjoying. He's like, I haven't really been able to spend time. Like, this is awesome. She's like, no, we're gonna really like Man. run like bears or something. He was saying, and they were like, okay, dad. And mom was like, go ahead, I do this all the time. <laughs> so it was right. so beautiful to see. I mean, I cannot tell you. If I, I wish I could videotape people without sounding creepy um, and show what I saw yesterday. It was amazing, amazing. Beautiful. Brothers and sisters really conversating. Friends, um, even if they were honoring the 10 foot rule, they still was having fun, um, doing stuff, just walking long walks. Yes. You know, my yes. daughter and I took a long, like five mile walk up, up by mm. the dam. So it was fun. Um, mm -hmm. What do you suggest for seniors? Because a lot of them are home alone. Right. Um, that's you know, it's beautiful actually. Um, the the um, center that I go to is in in Connecticut, in Brookfield, Connecticut, and we've been doing everything on on Zoom and online, whatever. Mm -hmm. And there are some elderly couples mm -hmm. that come on to oh. these to me. Yes. yes i love it i love oh, you so if they are um i would like to see more of that elderly couples come on or just elder people older senior beautiful people come on and join these groups yeah and be a part of it right. and it's happening because i'm seeing people with uh, phones and uh, Zooming for birthdays and, and uh, just uh, having these FaceTimes, whatever, all these social media <laughs> platforms. I think it's great. So that I think, and, and also to connect with resources, as many resources out there, they're saying a doctor, people who know that there's an elderly neighbor in the um, community, look out for them. And it's so funny, I have to give you a joke before I go, Tanya, is yeah. I've been leaving my packages, cause you know, they say leave your packages like 24 hours. But, so I had left my packages a couple of days. I said, let it stay there. So my neighbor called, my other neighbor said, is she okay? Her packages are <laughs> And then, then, the, then the landlord messaged me and said, um, your, your um, neighbors have been concerned about you because you're not moving your packages. <laughs> but it was a wonderful <laughs> feeling. That's great. That they were concerned about me. It was a wonderful feeling, Tanya. So these are the types of things that should happen. And I, I mean, I was concerned about them because they're elderly and they're worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, though. It's That's good. Awesome. Yes, it's good. Awesome. It's good. I had one. I had one neighbor, and she, you know, she had she had said to me, and she's been like, you know, I didn't want her taking a bus, so I put on my mask and do the. She puts the DC nine mm. mask on, all that stuff when I when she has to go to the store. Um, because I, and I take her when I see me can go or whatever, because, uh, I just was like, I can't have it on my watch. I let this woman just randomly yeah. get on buses and ran, you know, she has no family here. So mm. I let her, you know, join with me when I can, um, to go to the store and she sits in the back good, and, put the mask on and we do the yeah. light all, we do the whole spray. But the other yeah. day, you know, she was like, I've been so lonely. And I heard in her voice, I said, why don't you come over to my backyard? We'll keep the 10 foot distance. Um, I will have something to eat or, you know, something that's, you know, not, um, you know, nothing, a hand food type thing. Right. Something yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, you know, something that's doable. And, yes. um, well, and we had a glass of wine because it comes out of the thing. So that was great. Right. And we had a good time. We were Lovely. taking part, but we had a good time. And I can Lovely, tell you, Tanya. She said, she said her words was this, I feel human again. Tanya, this is beautiful. These are the things that we should be doing, just looking out for each other and supporting each other and loving each other because we're brothers and sisters and we all, we all belong to the one source. We all belong to God, no matter what religion, practice or non-spiritual, non-religion, we're family. And this is what it showed us that we're all one. Absolutely. You're, you're, you're in Timbuktu somewhere. Or oh, in the, the 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 depth of Africa, it doesn't matter. We are all one. We've seen that now. So it doesn't matter how much money you've got, how much little you have, how much and in, in, in abundant you have. Those have been abundance. It's been gone. It's snatched away. So those things are not important, Tanya. It's gone. It's not important at all. And that's the beauty of this is that we can see now what really matters. What it's really matters, and uh, and and um. And what, uh, you know, whatever groundwork we set for our children 
they can now start getting used to the fact of and being happy with being by themselves, being just them, and not say, well, I cannot see Sarah, Sally and Mary, you know? It's like, okay, but this is what you have right now. So appreciate it. That's and it, that's they it. They can learn from the art of appreciation. I believe, I believe it might've shaken our children up, some of them. I mean, I see kids, young people still out hanging, you know what I'm saying? I, I got people's kids saying, oh, well, we're gonna go hang out. And I was like, you're gonna go hang out? Are you kidding me? So yeah. they've been hanging out and stuff, which is, I mean, maybe they're honoring the 10 foot rule. I don't know, but. Uh, you know, there's a lot of that not happening though. Even today I saw something, um, they have the bicycle ride over there, um, yeah. right, you know, on that ride, and they said they were not practicing social distancing. It's like, people get, listen, I don't get comfortable, Tanya, and I'm not going to get comfortable. No, no, so no, you know, there's that one way, that second way, that third way. I'm sorry, I am going to practice this for quite some time. Yeah, no, this isn't the new me. <laughs> the new, the new me. me is elbow. <laughs> and new, uh, and so keep I'm it say, this is the new me. <laughs> Hello. No, exactly. Yeah. So, so how can people get in touch with you? Um, can I give your website? Absolutely, so yes. www.regard4, the letter number four, <laughs> virtues, mm. V-I-R-T-U-E, Yes, mm. dot com. Right. Um, that is the lovely Cicely G. You yes. Are watching on the town with Tanya, and we've had a Thank lovely you. time with you, Cicely. Yes. We'll have to do this Thank again. You. Thank and you, Tanya. Uh, yes, we have to. This yes. is great. You have to have a conversation with me. Does it? This is your global. Yes. A global conversation. Yes. Make sure you definitely join in on that. Lovely, Tanya. Thank <laughs> you. Right. And we'll talk to you soon, and we'll see you on Facebook Live. I'm going to do All this right. as a watch party. Okay. Uh, beyond. Be Thank well. You. Okay, take it, Tanya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>